All right, this is the unboxing of the Lawa Renegade GTX shoe. All right, I just got these for hiking right here. These are the mids right here. All right, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox. It comes in the Lawa box, which simply says, simply more. All right, now I bought this shoe right here because it felt great when I walked in the store with it. And I've read a lot of reviews about it. Now, a lot of people say that you shouldn't go buy how the shoe feels in the store. It's kind of like getting on a mattress in a mattress store. It feels good right then, but what about the long run? What about all night? What about when I'm walking all day? And I couldn't tell because I couldn't rent the shoes for all day to t test that out. So I had to go on reviews that I read. All right. So before we get started, check the description part of the page for more information about this shoe. All right. Thanks a lot. And don't forget to give me a like. So here's the shoe right here. I like this shoe because it reminds me of another shoe company, which has injection molding. This right here is just one solid piece. That means it won't come apart just like other shoes will from what I've read. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll test it out. I'm going to be taking a long hike and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of hiking over the next year. And I'll keep on giving some live updates about this. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the shoe. That's the left shoe right there and the right shoe. So I'm pulling them out. And what I like about these shoes are that they are Gore-Tex. So they're waterproof, right? So I can walk into water all the way up to like right here without worrying about my feet getting wet. Now I'll try these on in the store and they are quite comfortable compared to the other shoes that uh, I tried on. Uh, now, this shoe, from what I've read, it is good for maybe backpacking, light backpacking. Um, it's not as sturdy as or, 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 or stiff as some of the other high-end shoes. This is a high-end shoe, uh, but it's not as stiff as a high-end shoe, so it's not really recommended for super heavy backpacking, but that's okay because I'm not doing any super, super heavy backpacking. If I do, it's, it's it won't be that much but it, it was really comfortable the shoe uh it's it's not a hot weather shoe from what i've read but it does pretty well in cold climates or cool climates and it keeps your feet really comfortable for like long walks uh looking at the front of it, it has dual stitching on it as you can see right there i kind of like that right there that means they're not going to come apart as well as the hook laces as well as the gore-tex lining all right so this is the renegade i'm gonna keep on giving updates on this shoe to let you know how it's going for me what is this is this a little cut in this shoe i don't know what it is i have to check it out later i'm gonna keep on giving updates and let you guys know how this shoe is working out for me i'm really looking forward to this i like the comfort i uh, want to see how well they hold up and as well as how they hold up uh on the hike as far as giving me support around the ankles and uh, the foot, the bottom of the foot. Let me know if you have any questions. By the time you uh, watch this, I'll probably already been trying the shoe out for a little bit. All right, thanks a lot.